Good morning. It is Tuesday, March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Starting off for today, you have your simple solutions. You're working on lesson 108. Moving forward from there, you're going to have science. And with science, it's going to be your IXL. Go ahead and log into that. Um, you're working on a section called materials, and it's going to be the common properties of objects, skill one. So you're looking at section A and then skill one for that. Moving forward, you'll take out your Spirit of Truth textbook and you'll be working on pages 95 and 96. On page 95, you'll have um, some artwork related to confirmation. So try and make a connection between what you know about confirmation and some of the images that you're seeing in that artwork. Afterwards, you will turn the page to page 96. There's a series of questions there. With that series of questions, all you'll need to do is jot down some of your thoughts and responses. There's not a lot of room on page 96, but that's okay. Just for you to jot down a few of your feelings and thoughts related to the artwork that you've been observing. Afterwards, reading students, if you have reading with me, you are going to begin a daily dialogue journal in which you'll be just recording your thoughts and feelings, um, any types of activities that you've been doing throughout your day. Um, you could even use the time to come up with some creative writing, maybe a song, maybe you can go ahead and create a poem, something like that. Even some students have gone ahead and written chapters to an overall story that, they, that they're creating. So those would all be things for your daily dialogue journal. That's gonna be something I'm gonna expect from you every single day this week. Afterwards, you have two IXLs. Um, one is J1 and another one is M1. With J1, um, that's gonna be text features and the other one is M1 and M1 is analyzing literature. Um, skill one is short stories. So please make sure that you work on those as well. From there, if you have math with me, you're also working on IXL for that. Um, IXL for math is going to be skill K for fractions and then four. Um, with the fractions, you're calculating equivalent fractions. So that is what um, your skill will be for Tuesday. Please make sure that you work for a mastery score of 90%. Um, if you want to strive for 100%, then that is totally up to you. But my expectation is that you have that SMART score of 90%. Um, afterwards, ELA. So ELA, go on to ReadWorks. There's going to be some initial login information that your parents will have for you. And um, there's a class code to enter, a password to enter, and it's readworks.org. Afterwards, you're moving back to your text for exercises in English. And with exercises in English, you're working on pages 41 and 42. These are about descriptive adjectives and proper adjectives. Um, 41 and 42 are going to be, um, again, the pages that you'll focus on for that. So other than that, um, thinking about the day ahead, if you would like a literacy activity, something that you could do is um, simply write a note to a relative and um, have your family mail it um, later. Write a note to a friend. Um, any of those types of writing things make someone's day. Relatives and friends absolutely love getting mail. So that would be something perhaps for your um, literacy idea of the day. Otherwise, I'm thinking about all of you. I miss you tremendously and um, look forward to tuning in again tomorrow. Take care.